Wee! Hey punters, what's going on? Paul here, very exciting day today. My tires have arrived, which means I'm actually gonna have a working bike again. And for those of you that guessed Michelin on my last video, you were correct, it's Michelin. Heads up, they're not an official sponsor of the channel. However, they are gonna help me with tires for the year and I'm really excited because I've heard some great things about them. But opening a box of tires isn't just what today's video is about. I'm gonna put these on, and then I've got to get this bike kind of set up for riding. And I'm going to take you through my very painful process, how much I faff with a mountain bike. Ooh, I've got a whole bunch of different tires in here. Wild Enduro is the one everyone's been telling me about. These might look like a lot of tires, but hopefully this is going to last me for the entire year. I'm trying to be more conscious about how I accept deliveries, so I ask for everything all at once. Now the tires aren't the only new thing that I've got to get used to. I've got some brand new wheels. These are, woo -hoo -hoo. These are Syncross Revelstoke wheels. Gotta use them. They're really light. I was amazed. Probably the lightest wheels I've ever had on a bike. And while I am very much used to the one-up handlebars, link in the description if you want to find out more information. I am going a little bit wider this year at 780 and of course I'm now on Shimano for this year. So I've got to figure out brake lever angle and distance and stuff. So there's probably a bit of faffing to happen here. And then the Scott Genius this year comes with a 150 mil 36. Last year it was a 34. So, and it's got a new Fit4 damper in, which is updated from last year. So that's gonna be different. And the final detail, it's brand new shoes. These are the Shimano AM7s. Haven't used Shimano shoes before. Don't know how the cleat position is gonna be. I've got my old shoes, so we're gonna to have to get the cleat position in the right position, which is gonna take ages. <laughs> let's put the tires on, let's get the shoes ready, and let's actually go mountain biking. Okay, that's the shoes looked at. Step one, actually find which tires I want to put on this. There's a couple of versions. There's like the Wild Enduro, but I don't know which ones I need. Okay, look, I'm the first to admit this looks ridiculous. But remember, I have three different bikes and then I have to have some spares and I really don't want to not be able to make a video because I don't have a tire ready to go, which I don't think is going to happen now. Okay, figured it out. These ones are gonna be for the downcountry bike. They are the Wild Am, a little bit lighter. Then here we have the Force Enduro, which looks great for kind of dry desert stuff. So I'm probably gonna put one of those on the back for Sedona. And then we have the Enduro fronts, the Wild Enduros. This is what all of these are. These are the main ones I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna leave that on for the front. And then we have the Wild Enduro rear, which is nice and soft. So that's gonna be perfect for squire mission, PNW stuff, easy. So let's pop the wheels off and get these things mounted. And we're one step closer to going mountain biking. Woohoohoo! Right, this one's easy. Gonna get the enduro front and the old Revelstoke wheel. A lot of people put the tubeless fluid through the valve. I didn't do that. I just use my scoop and pop it in. So some time may have passed. They may have been a little tricky to get on, but that only means that they're gonna be really easy to inflate and everyone gets that really satisfying pop. Stand up. There's one pop. It did actually pop quite a lot after I turned the camera off. Try in the back one, but looks like the valve is slightly moved. It's not under the tire. And it's pretty tricky to move back. I'm gonna see what happens if I just pump it up. Nah, I got a fiddle. <laughs> I was like, hold on. If you hold, if you hold it round and I pump it, it might move it. Going up? Easy. First try. They were really big pops. Whoa. Still get scared. So scared. Seated nicely. They were tight on. They are very tight on. But hopefully that means it's not gonna come off. And they look amazing. These are my old, completely punched worn shoes. By the looks of it, if I have it in the top top two placing, the, the cleat space on this goes wet back a lot further than these ones. So if I put it in the top two place, I think that's gonna be quite a similar cleat position to what I had before. Definitely, definitely close. Ooh. 
Goes to create the stem properly. Feels good. I could be here for days if I wanted to be. Final thing to do, really, is to put all the fun things in the EDC. Chain breakers and tire plugs. Loaded, ready to go. Shock should be pretty easy, because it's the same as last time. And 36 is different, so we're gonna start off. Oh, oh, you can still see me. With recommended air pressure, which is, looks like it's basically body weight, 72 kilos for me. There we have it. I'll pump this up, and then we're gonna head out to some turns tomorrow, and I'm gonna just have a little fiddle, fiddle around. I know you're meant to go and ride a whole trail to do it properly. I'm just gonna mess around on some turns. See you punters tomorrow. And here we are in beautiful Coho Park in Squamish. And I'm with Dan, who's on camera. Uh, and already I know that my cleat's in the wrong position. <laughs> but only on the left foot, which is pretty good. I think I'm just gonna tilt that out a little bit. And then we're actually gonna start riding bikes. And Dan has some faffing to do as well. What's wrong with you, yours, Dan? I think my cleats might be all right. We'll see. Day of New faff. cleat day. New cleat day. I've had a lot of faffing in the garage off camera to make it a little less boring. So hopefully, this might not take too long. It's going to take a long time, Dan. No, it definitely is. <laughs> So where are we and what are we riding? We're not riding a real trail. These are some turns that I and a couple of other people put in a couple of years ago now when it was all snowy. Is it, oh, you can kind of see it. It's just like doo, 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 doo. And I think this is gonna be a great thing to session because I just want to get like used to where everything is on the bike. So it's not like a real setup, but it's more of a faff. It's a faff day, but the turns are not too bad. What have we got? One, two, three, four. There's four in a row. Dan's gonna send it first. Oh yeah. Oh, he still got it. How was that? Be better than they look. Yeah, they're Pretty good sure. turns, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, clean as a whistle. You know, you've forgotten that you've got a new shock. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, maybe some cleat stuff, but you have a whole new, it's basically a new bike. He's riding well. Billy, hit me with some roost. Hit me with some roost. Look at this now. It's all starting to get loose up. I might have a couple of goes. I might have a couple of goes, Dan. First couple of turns done. Shoes actually feel really nice. They feel quite light, Dan. The cleat position feels all good. Bar roll. The bar roll. Bar roll. And you've sat on it and yep. also agreed that it was Slightly maybe... too forward. Luckily, there's lines on this one at bars, so when I roll them back, it's going to be easy to get them in the right position. And they're, they're obviously wider. 780s this year. I'm just trying trying it out. Gotta try these things. Gotta try them. Don't know until you've tried it. I'm gonna try them one one notch back. I think before I had them roll too far back. <laughs> now I have to do the brake levers forward. Everything has to change. I oh, know. I feel like I'm just going to default to what I ha always have, which is probably going to happen, isn't it? I should be learning away. to try something different. I could do this. Could you do this for days, this game? Yeah. Oh my god, there is a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, What? Who, whose bright idea was it to come to a river? You good. Take, take two. Take two. That little roll of the bar that made me feel way more comfortable. So now the bars don't feel too weird. I don't feel like I'm over the front so much. It'd be pretty weird if this is all the faff I'm gonna do, because I've basically just gone with the recommended settings. I do the, I do this from open, I know you're not meant to do it from open, but, oh no, I think it's 20 anyway, so 10 from close, 10 from open, <laughs> it's right in the middle, and then the rebound is six clicks from close, and that is what they say for this weight of 72 PSI. Perfection. No idea what the tokens are, because I always just leave it whatever. Comes with it. Yeah. <laughs> I faff around, and then I just go back to wherever the fork came with, and then 195 in the back. Which I think is actually a little bit firmer than I did before. Look at that dreamy bike. Yeah, it's so, so pretty, isn't it? I wonder if this video is going to be a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> How am I going right. to get to 10 minutes now, Dad? No! Could be, but we are riding steep stuff, so... You know what, Steeper mate? stuff. I need to take a quick rebound off. Oh, could do. So I remember from Ben's video, that can change the height as well. 
Ooh, one off. Yeah, it's so steep. Look how hard I'm pushing. Oh, come on. That heavy bite you've got. It's so heavy. It's like 30 pounds. Immediate change of plans. I'm gonna put it back to where it was. So I was starting to feel comfortable. I was less, I was more flowy than that and it felt weird, but we'll do Dan for a bit. And then we'll head over to a little jump. We'll do something a bit faster after this. Oh, what a dream. I think I need to get onto uh, some faster, rougher stuff. Well, we can go to some fast stuff over there. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we are at the next little bit here in Coho. We've got a nice little double. And then there's kind of this little hippie-ish thing. Dan says something a little bit faster, and that's what this is. So I have a feeling that what I'm gonna sell on is I'm gonna take one of these five mil spaces and try it underneath to bring the bars up a bit. Because I've noticed Dan, a little bit tricky to like eh, pull up and get that balance. And I think bar height is where it is, not fork setting. There he is, Dan Locks. Instagram superstar. Beautiful. How good is it to be riding bikes again? I feel like a new man. New you man. you look like a new man, my friend. <laughs> you know what? The moment I went over the first one, it felt quite natural. A bit more balanced? Yeah, but like up to it, I was like, eh. <laughs> this could be quite easy. <laughs> it's like the easiest, easiest setup ever. It's the lowest amount of fat has ever been recorded. Don't <laughs> mind me, just shifting under load. I know, mate. I think I, think I need to be pushed further back a little bit. Yeah. Have you swapped the five mil? No. Do that now. Next thing, we swap in the five mil over. I'm gonna put this underneath. See how it feels. And also get the right Allen key. This is the five mil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dan, you're probably wondering, Paul, oh, how are you gonna take off the top cap? It's right here, mate. Right here. Genius. There you go. Just like that. could be here for hours. Five hours later. <laughs> Talked up to... Talked up to spec? Yeah. 100%. Okay, so I don't think it was straight. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Dan, I think we're somewhere in the middle here. Somewhere in the middle. Maybe we cut your spacer in half. Yeah, if you could do that. I'm probably gonna get 100 comments. All saying, oh no, what you should do is this. Probably. To straighten it, but I know what they are. Oh! <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I, do, I do not like that at all. Amazing, like five mil makes so much difference. It's crazy, it? isn't it? Also, definitely hit my jump. <laughs> I just came, I jumped the first one, I was just like, oh, I hate this. <laughs> right. And then bucked over the second one. <laughs> and then just went, oh, whatever. <laughs> Put the stem back to where it is. I think there's a couple things still to really dial in, especially because this is like the first time I've ridden in three months. <laughs> dial in the person. I haven't had to do hardly anything to the cleats. The bars are kind of where they are. Obviously, these are wider. I just have to get used to having it a bit more forward. Yeah. It'll be better for me. Einstein the genius is black. Please bear with me on all this. I know things are gonna be going pretty slow, especially for my riding. It's been like three months since I've ridden a bike. And now we've got some new kit, thanks to new partners, Shimano and Whistle Performance Loops, and obviously Scott and One Up for supporting and helping me make these videos for you. And also those that support me on Patreon. Like I don't really do anything on there, but thanks for the support. So we've got a couple more van videos to come out. It's very close to being ready, I can't wait. 
And then I'm gonna truck down to the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival. If you're gonna be going there, I'm gonna be doing a group ride on the 7th of March, which is I think the Friday of the festival. So if you wanna come along, uh, follow me on Instagram, at Paul Punter, and uh, you'll be able to keep up and see what's going on. But I'm very excited. The season is now officially starting. Mountain biking is on again. This is kind of the introduction, I guess, to the whole year. So thanks for sticking with me through the winter. This is gonna be a good year. I'm very excited. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Leave a like as well if you watched all the way through to this point. Let me know that you did by doing that. And uh, yeah, cheers, Punters. I'll see you next time.